he's had a great year and he continues to get better. And, you know, tonight was the night that he got going. The Boston Celtics sweep their three game road trip and grab their fifth consecutive win as a team. The Celtics got off to a strong start, even though they were without Robert Williams and held a 13 point lead at halftime. As the Celtics continued to roll, the Lakers made a late fourth quarter push to almost pull ahead. But the Celtics held them off to grab a 121 to 113 victory as Jalen Brown logged a total of 40 points, becoming the first Celtics player in franchise history to score 40 plus points while also shooting at least 85 percent from the field. Just wanted to come out and be aggressive. You know, Celtics Lakers matchup is a is a matchup that you know kids dream about being over the, on the floor. So uh, regardless of who's on the court. I'm excited to play. Tonight, he was really dialed in, scoring the ball. You're not going to always shoot as efficiently as he did tonight. Obviously, that's like, you know, once a season type numbers usually. But he's had a great year, and he continues to get better. And, you know, tonight was the night that he got going, and we tried to ride that as much as possible. So I thought him with the second unit, again, separated the game. And, you know, it allowed us to get some rest for those other guys. This a, a, a elevated responsibility. I have more of a, a role for to uh, to play make and, and, and things that I've had ever. So I think that is a big piece, but also, you know, just studying and watching the game and getting better and improving. That's what I'm about. The Celtics will now fly back to Boston for a three game homestand, and that will begin on Saturday night when the Golden State Warriors come to town.